I don't know. Oh. This has got to be some good news. Right Hopefully. Here. Hello? Hey, Tally. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here up at the new Goon Squad headquarters over at the barn build. Where as you guys seen in the previous video, we made some major progress after gathering a bunch of supplies and materials from the Home Depot and the Lowe's. We ended up actually doing some wiring in here, some electrical work. We did some really basic stuff. You know, we got some junction boxes, some receptacles, and even a breaker box. And then we even did some spray foam insulation in the whole entire thing, which that was pretty neat, but it's gonna be nice and toasty and also nice and cool and all that good stuff. Then of course we sawed up a bunch of wood using our sawmill where we slapped it up on that wall right there and that looks super sweet dude and our goal today is to actually complete the whole entire roof section and maybe that wall that is a lot of work but you know what we really want to finish up this barn right here that way we can just chill and have some fun you know what i mean what is fun man you know what i mean that's what i was, I was honestly thinking about that because pops is out of town and we're i was just like what if we just made a video of just having fun a sunday fun day video dude dude and the, I, we're talking we're like what do you do for fun i'm like like, I don't know, I'm doing fun right now, you that, know, working on the building. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You were like saying like you can chill in the hot tub, that's your fun. Honestly, making progress is fun for me or I mean like riding the four wheeler, that's like a short term fun, you know yeah. what I mean? I mean, everybody has probably a different opinion on what their fun is. It's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, let us know what your fun is. I mean, yeah. e I mean, it can be anything. I mean, right now we're having fun working, I guess. Exactly, you know I mean? yeah, everybody's definition of fun is different, but honestly, it's fun making videos for you guys and taking you guys along with us everywhere we go and just kind of experience what we experience, I guess, through the screen. Yeah, that's what? crazy. That's it's crazy. like you get a video that's done and you're, you're like looking at it, you're like, that was fun to do right there, dude. That's epic right there. But anyways, I guess we're not going to have, or we are going to have fun. We're having fun every day, we man. We are, but you know what? We're going to try to complete as much as we possibly can in here, but we're going to start off by doing a bunch of sawmill work. And also, we might even run to parents' house and actually pick up two brand new blades. Somebody sent that out, so that's going to make the process a lot faster. And also, we might have to get some more screws, so. Yeah, definitely. Screws for the actual boards on yep. the walls because we ran out exactly. yesterday. Exactly. So I say we go ahead and probably jump into one of the vehicles and head down over there and get what we got to get and have some fun. Still made it. I would have went last minute. Look at what we did. Your apartment. That's how these companies get metal. Look at that freaking steel. That's crazy. You know how heavy that is right there? That's why the railroad system is so nice. That's why it's always going to be around. right there, dude. That's what those things do. Oh my goodness. So we ended up running to the store, grabbed what we needed to grab, stopped by mom and pop's house. And what did we grab there? And we grabbed these, these blades, blades right here. So these are brand new blades right here. Carbon blades, which are really nice. So definitely a high quality blade for this sawmill. But we go to put this thing on, thinking that we're about to slice through this wood like it's butter. But you know what? These happen to be a little bit too short. And it's crazy because we went off to the, we went off this size guide right here that's on the machine and it's wrong, dude. Yep, that is right. So the custom, crazy. the ones that we got custom made, I guess they didn't go off of that label. They just got them to, to measure, basically. They measured the old blade, and yes. then that's how we got that one right. But this one right here, I guess that's just wrong yeah. labeling yeah, right these there, These are dude. offline right here, so that's definitely a wrong label. We're, we're going to have to scratch that out and put the right size on here because these are calling for like 144 and a half inches, and we need way bigger than yeah, that, Yeah, a couple dude. inches bigger, but you know what? 
that means we're not going to be able to sawmill because our old blade is already going bad it's like bouncing around it's not giving us straight cuts and we would go get another one at the custom blade shop over there but i think they're already shutting down yeah for today. They, yeah they're already shut down for today so that's that kind of you know it's kind of a bummer right here because we thought we were about to slice this and finish up the inside of that barn but now we can't have wood we can't put it on the walls what are we gonna do dude? Hey, the only thing you sliced is your, your my, leg. my leg dude, i was messing with that thing i was like bouncing around and stuff like that Dude, and it barely touched me and it just went clean through the skin dude, dude it's crazy dude crazy but you know what i guess we're just gonna set the sawmill aside try to figure out what we're gonna do are we maybe we'll just have some fun and just do <laughs> just do nothing basically oh we'll figure something out we're, we're, we're definitely all... gonna do something epic dude yeah so let's just do a little bit more thinking right now and i guess we'll move on to something else let's do it hey siri what do people do for fun? Okay, I found this on the web for what do people do for fun. Go for a walk, go for a run, learn to juggle, go swimming, drum, oh, let's go dance. Buy a drum set. <laughs> we already did the running part and the walking part all day today. Community sports. Watch wildlife. We've been doing that. Right there. Head to the playground. This The world's our playground. Do some gardening. Let's go. You got any? Is that fun? That is pretty fun, dude. I actually like gardening. Planting plants is pretty fun. Car boot sales. What is car boot sales, man? Plan go around, kick tires. <laughs> Check your community calendar. Join a film book club. Visit friends. Volunteer work. Wow, that sounds work. boring. <laughs> free, visit free museums. Visit zoo, wildlife. Become a dog walker. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is this, man? Stay indoors. Make some bread. <laughs> I hope this is some good news right here. This has got to be some good news right Hopefully. here. Hopefully. Hello? Hey, Tally. So no luck on the crusher run? I said, call Chris and tell him to get me a couple loads of crusher run on Monday at least. We ain't jumped this thing, have we? Hey, watch this wheel. Hey, do a donut with the boat connected. Imagine jumping with the boat. This was the plan of fun, I guess. This is your idea of fun, which that's good. This is your idea, and honestly, I think it's a great idea, dude. Yeah. After my idea of fun, I'll we'll, come do up your, with we'll do your idea of fun, you know? We'll I, see how fun this is. This Bad Boy 25 right here, dude. I think it's gonna be really fun, and it's perfect. It's getting warmer. It's time to just, like, crank up that engine, which it fired right up, dude. Dude, there's no problem. Two pulls. <laughs> Two pulls. Only thing is, this uh, little, got a little, Turds and turtlings there or something? I don't know uh, what that is. Kaka in there, dude. And the floor kind of got rotten now. It's kind of like smushy yeah. right here. So we may have to just swap in a new two by or what, what do we you call it? We can sawmill a wood. <laughs> sawmill some wood on a this A piece thing. of plywood. But no, other than that, dude, this is a beast of a machine right here, which we're just going to run it around. I just seen a big old fish jump, dude. Maybe dude. we should pick up on some fishing skills. I know. I haven't went fishing in a, like, I don't know, a couple, of, like a year. Dude, I remember I used to rip some lips, this, dude. Dude, this was my bag right here where I used to work construction, dude. We used to stop by and uh, little ponds local here and there, uh, private ponds, and just dude, catch bass all That was day our long. way of having fun yeah, back then, Yeah, that's how dude. we did fun during construction days. But you see, she's done... Had a, it's still a good bag, man. It's still a good bag. So we may throw in a rod here and there and see what happens. Dude. Shoot. Let's just go ahead and unload this thing and give it a rip. Let's do it. The rats got to it, too. Dude, it feels so good out here, honestly. Hey, Tally. What do people do for fun? Let's go to Kroger. Let's go to Kroger. Let's go to
little bit of power there having too much too much fun man too much. <laughs> dude this thing is actually really fun oh dude, my goodness imagine if this thing was like souped up or, or what if this boat had a bigger motor dude we can be down the river like this just the tip on the back imagine dude, dude what if we got one of those dude you know what we might just who got a big motor like that we can slap on the back of this thing somebody's got to have one nearby it's just a trolley motor right here dude what that you i don't know what happened but we're gone no power dude we may not have no fuel oh my goodness this is fun we on, we on, we on sips right here, dude. We on fumes, ain't we? We on fumes. I guess the way the the, ga the gas tank was leaning. I mean, there's there's fuel in there. Pump the pump one time and see if there's fuel, if there's pressure if there's in there. Pressure in here. If there's no pressure. I mean, there's pressure. It's, it's, it's good pressure. I was almost thinking that um, since I was doing those crazy maneuvers, you know, it, it kind of like got out of the water a little bit. What if it kind of overheated or something like that? That's possible. We might have to. Throw a turbo we on Might it. have to call Tow USA out here. I mean, we got about what, like we half can, a mile? We got an oar right there, but the thing about that oar is, dude, it was flexible. When oh, I was, this thing, I bet if you paddle one, oh, it got like cheese going on it. <laughs> <laughs> if you paddle one time, dude. Oh, don't bro. lean this oh, whole boat, man. This thing's got to be balanced. You got to barely paddle with this thing, but I say let this puppy cool off a little bit right here. Yeah, and let's then, let it cool off and let's, let's, let's park this thing. Let's paddle back a little bit. Hey. You ain't got a whistle, do you? Oh, I do right here. Water's not really moving much. It's not. It's, it's kind of a standstill. They might have the dam closed right now. You know, upriver. Yeah. At least that thing will crank back up. <laughs> she needs a new motor. I mean, it was just some bad fuel. I think it's been bad fuel, probably. You know. Could have mixed, shook it up because the oil could have separated from, from the gas. Good thinking. Oh, she's back. She's back. We're gonna cut it off. Tell you what, this would make a good autumn time boat. This would make a good Christmas present. <laughs> this would make a good birthday gift for a little boy that wants to put in some work. <laughs> he just needs a little bit of labor. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I just fell through the floor while you were recording. <laughs> Both of my feet just made holes. $80,000 truck pulling an $80,000 boat. $80 boat. She just needs a little bit of time, love, and care. I'll tell you what, That's only it. needs a $20 part. Just needs a boat shine, man. Now, look good. at those boats out there on the river. Uh, Ski boats. Maybe dang. one day. One day. <laughs> We'll, we'll show them up. This right here lasts 10 years longer than those right there. Dude. Those right there are just for show. Yeah, this, this is right here for play performance. and performance <laughs> and fishing. Biggest uh, horsepower one y'all got? although that is fun to do but anyways next day here and the first thing that we decided to do was run around try to find what do you call it tiller motor a or tiller something? motor for that for the old smoker craft we wanted to get a massive one that way that thing can pop wheelies and go about 80 Dude. but you know what 
I don't know about that. There, it was a little bit out of our price range. It was like eight grand for like a 75 horsepower one. And then like we found one for a little bit cheaper, the one with like a jet engine at a the- 40 horsepower one? 40 horsepower, which would have been pretty powerful as well, but that was somewhere around like seven grand or something like that. So we were just like thinking about it. Maybe it's not worth it. You that's know what I mean? That's a whole entire boat off a of Copart, dude. Dude, that's what I'm saying. And then of course we went to the Bass Pro and there were some even bigger ones, some 200 horsepower 300 ones. 300 horsepower, We would have went dude. for that one if- they, they had, had it in if stock. If they had it in stock, no doubt about it, dude. dude. Imagine that with one of those little ha handles on it, dude. That'd be insane. That thing would literally be like that'd out of the water. That'd be a race boat, dude. The only thing that would be in the water is the propeller, dude. I think that'd insane. be the most expensive boat on the water, you know? Not the boat, just because the engine, the dude. The motor, dude. That, that'd be the fastest boat out there. That would be super insane. But maybe if we find like one used or something off yeah. the auction, we'll go for that. But anyways, here we are. What next you got day. here? And we're going to do some more fun stuff right here. We decided to keep going with it, right? Yeah, so, so you wanted to grab the big boat out because, you know, you like big boats, you know what I mean? I think mean? it would be fun. Honestly, like yesterday, I didn't think the little boat was going to be fun, but honestly, it turned out being a blast. Dude, that thing is so fun but, just cruising around. Yeah, but from what I remember, this thing was an absolute blast as well. It's got two jet engines. It's just been sitting for the longest time. I don't think we even winterized this thing, so I guess... We're about to find out. Let's do it. <laughs> So we are finally back after breaking a few things on that Can-Am right there, but you know what? We had fun and that's the most important thing. Today's video was a little bit different. It was a little bit all over the place, but you know what? That's what this is about. We're just throwing a curveball at you guys. In the next video, we're definitely gonna take it a little bit more serious. Today was just a little bit more relaxing. We're gonna definitely try to figure uh, figure out that barn situation or the sawmill situation to finish up the barn 100%. And then once we get that sucker finished up, we got some important stuff happening at the house over there as well. The new commercial garage. We got a bunch of epic stuff happening. And also, if you guys have any suggestions, drop that down below if you wanna see something on the channel we already got our eye on some pretty crazy things that we got scheduled for some of the builds here and there i don't want to spoil too much it's just going to happen but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support definitely be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace a little bit of uh track hawk extras man this thing is such a beast